Hey fellas, I am really enjoying my new PS Plus That's so great so far and not just because of how enthusiastic I was about Crash 4 yesterday <clears throat> Hey, and another thing I'm kind of thankful for it's allowed me to whether the game is good or good or bad or even even just okay Hey, hey it's let me try ones that I know hands are for free that I otherwise wouldn't have bought or even played, such as today's topic No Straight Roads. Hmm. So, <coughs> the game centers around a, a indie rock a couple, oh no, it's Bunk Bed Junction, and and made up of of guitarist Mayday and drummer Zook are attempting to take down an oppressive regime slash as energy magnate known as the Tisha NSR, which by my point of view would basically be in like if you titled Spider Man Far From Home the a spectacular Quentin Beck, yeah, and the idea is basically to try and capture the look and feel of of 128 bit titles, but in many ways, I mean, totally honest, ends up embodying in the lesser aspects instead. I mean, it might. I will state for the record if you're waiting for the next Space Channel 5 or Jack Ryan Radio, my advice is to keep waiting. It's not the worst game I've ever played of Italy, but it's also kind of mediocre, I mean totally honest. I mean this is often compared to Superior Brutal Legend, which is a game that I have better gameplay, better humor, and better understanding music. Heck from the opening scene alone. Let's just say that if NSR was in Blue Legends World, they'd basically be turned to processed hamburger within moments. I mean, and even as someone who uh, was pop culture age took hold in the, in the 90s, early 2000s, who has a, has a soft spot for like the aesthetic of like the Dreamcast, has PS2, GameCube, and OG Xbox. Looks, the graphics here are actually pretty garish and occasionally glitchy. I mean, and and this happens a lot. Where and one, the worst one I encountered was was that the final boss fight is bugged. Uh, I mean, I was able to hit them with a special move once. And no times after that, man. And it still shows up in like the up in the encore edition, so called. Hold, I mean. So yeah, there's also more minor ones with uh, clipping through who parts of the stage as well. Yeah. Also. Despite the name, the design of the game is shockingly linear. I mean, I, I, right, I just wandered off the beaten path, and there wasn't a whole lot of opportunity to do with that, just to find more secrets. It's but they were just things I needed to actually complete objectives, and and since I end up. Making my own one in my head, trying to guess where I would need to who go next in a stage, and I ended up getting it right basically every single time. I'm, and that's coming up someone who has often pointed out that that's linear in itself is not a bad thing. It's just as that it's a difference between making in the gameplay entertaining and making it just a stall, I mean, holding it. And unfortunately, despite hey, some interesting ideas, 
because it goes more to a lighter one. And I I know it's kind of kind of a shock to some people, but the music didn't really stand out at me, despite the whole concept of it. I mean, and also I would note that the DK West theme sounds like it stole its tune from Sean Paul's We Be Burning. And I mean, this kind of a rap reggae kind of thing going on. So, yeah. It's definitely he, something I, I was not, it's not that his ass I was worried about it being, but also uh, not really something I can join the cult following of either the game. So, yeah. Yeah, there's lots of interesting ideas in this game, but they don't really come together as a whole, and the technical bugs and a really simplistic gameplay don't really help either. I'd probably get like a 3 out of 5, 3.5 out of 5 at best, 2.5 out of 5 at worst, I mean, my advice would be to play the Artful Escape or wait for Bomber Cyberfunk if you want not a different kind of music themed game which harkens back to previous generations. I know I will. That'll be all for now, I'll see you again soon, take care everyone. Mm -hmm.